Hello there. The world goal setting, like I advertised some few days ago, has come to stay in our world. And I thank God that a lot of people sent a message to me asking that uh, when will I discuss this goal setting. The word New Year resolution has become overused and uh, commonplace. When I was in secondary school, we were taught uh, to have what was then called New Year resolution. I remember that so many of us in late December would say by mouth, we will not do this and that. We will start doing this and that and will mean it from the depth of our hearts. But no sooner we made those resolutions and entered into the new year than we violated all the totems of the resolution. Gradually, the word new year resolution started losing esteem and meaning until it faded out. I hardly hear people talk about new year resolution again. But in some circles, especially now that motivational speaking and coaching is becoming uh, a kind of fancy around the world, people are being pumped to set uh, goals. Uh, now, how do we set goals? What are goals? How do we do it in such a way uh, that goal setting will not become another New Year resolution? and fed out in the same manner. This is the topic I am treating today on Mentoring with Bola Adewara. You are welcome. Happy New Year to you, my friend. How did it go? Uh, today, I am, today, I am going to speak on goal setting for the new year, this year 2021. How can you do it in such a way that you will get result and love to do it henceforth for the rest of your life? After this, I will also discuss the five P's of resolution. This was originally written by my friend Kolade Oseayo, a missionary in Mali. You will enjoy it. Now, goal setting. What to do? There are about five important things you need to do when it comes to goal setting. The first one is write goals down and review them periodically. Resolutions that are not written down are destined to be forgotten and fall quick. Two, create goals for different areas of your life. Three, Set goals that are realistic and attainable. Four, make goals that are measurable. Five, design goals that can be accomplished with a partner. I will explain these things to you one after the other. Write goals. Number one, let's look at number one. When we say write goals down and review them periodically, what do we mean? You see, Ideas that are not written down are destined to be forgotten and failed. No matter how magnetic or long your memory is, it is always better to write things down. Even the Bible in Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 says, write down the vision. Don't forget, like I keep saying, the scripture cannot be broken. A faint pencil is better than a long memory. So write your goals down and not just anywhere. Keep your goals, the list of your goals, keep them in a place where you will see them regularly so that you can review and progress. You can review your progress and recommit on a consistent basis. Keep the paper of your goals where you can see it. Paste it maybe in your bedroom or in your bathroom mirror in your library or on the fridge where you can see it always. Don't forget, write it down. And what you have written down, keep them somewhere you can see always. Make it, you can also make it a kind of a wallpaper on your phone or on your computer. You have to make yourself accountable to yourself by seeing it every day. 
you can write them in codes so that uh, others, when they see it, they will not understand what you have written. But then only you will understand it. Sometimes people believe that uh, you keep your mouth short about things you want to accomplish. I agree. But make sure that you write your goals down and you keep it somewhere you can see it every time of the year. Number two, create goals for different areas of your life. Don't concentrate on one area of life, leaving the other. Everything is linked up in your life. Everything is linked up. One should not suffer for the other. You cannot be building your finance and leave out your relationship. Neither leaving out your family. You cannot leave out your spiritual life also. You should build your goals along this line. Let me tell you. Uh, when you say, how do I build goals? Your goals should be in areas like maybe your health and fitness, professional goals, family goals, relationship goals, spiritual goals, finance goal. You should not just put it on maybe you say academics or maybe you say, oh, my family goals. No, it has to be in different areas of your life. Number three, set goals that are realistic and attainable goals that are realistic and attainable don't make your goals so humongous that they ordinarily sound unattainable and unrealistic you should know what you can ordinarily accomplish on your own even without the help or input of anybody don't build goals to please people or to be like the joneses build goals around your life and your expectations can I teach you one uh, way to write goals? Write your epitaph. Epitaph means the word someone will write on your on your grave, you know, the tomb. Something they will say, uh, you know, that one called epitaph. Then let me explain. You know, I have a friend, uh, I have a pastor, uh, specifically Pastor Walade Fuye in the early 2000s, who taught us something about goal writing. He said that I write your epitaph. That is the word you want your children to engrave on your tongue. And when you write it, start leaving it now. I have read the epitaph of a friend, which read those. Here lies the body of Dr. XYZ, a professor, teacher of men, motivational speaker, author of many books, pastor, newspaper columnist, social media influencer, and public affairs analyst, who lived that the frontiers of oppression and ignorance can be banished from planet Earth. I read this epitaph around the year 2000 and it assisted me in writing mine. These are his destination, which he broke down into so many areas and he started living them year in, year out. Rather than say he would establish radio station in a year, he will say in two years he will work to get uh, a radio station license. He will follow it uh, by going to, for training and study how radio station is run. The following year, he will work on getting equipment. The following year, you know, things like that. You have to do it things little by little so that you can, uh, you can achieve them. Don't make your goal so humongous that it could even be scary to you. Number four, make goals that are measurable. Goals that you can measure. In order to keep on track, set goals that are measurable again and again over a short period of time. Don't be unclear when you are writing your goals. Setting goals you are not definite about. I will give you some example of measuring of measurable goals. If you say I will be a better family man in 2020. How do you explain it? I will be a better family man in 2020. How do you explain it? If you, it were better to say, uh, in 2020, I will be spending two hours with my children every day, or I will be spending uh, the last two hours every day with my children. You know, rather, You'll be spending, say, maybe uh, I want to be a better family man in 2021. How do you want to be a better family man in 2021? 
break it down, make it measurable. You can say, I will be spending every Saturday and Sunday with my family so that you will know exactly what you are doing every year, every time of the year. You have broken it down and you make it measurable so that you will know, oh, did I attend to my family this Saturday and that last Sunday? No. But when you say, I will be a better family man in 2021, how do you want to be? Make your goals measurable every year. You see, the goals are easily understandable when you put it that way. Another example, rather than say, I will be a reader of books in 2021. No, it's nebulous. You can say, I will be reading a chapter of a book every day. So that you will know, did I read the book today or did I read the book yesterday? You see, it becomes measurable for you. Number five, design goals that can be accomplished with a partner. In 2021, don't be a loner. Make friends with someone who can criticize you lovingly. A friend who can look at you in the face and tell you that you are wrong. Don't tag along with praise singers who want favors from you. This is one of the main reasons many people fail in their goal setting. Keeping to your goal is a hard work, and one needs to tend to notice. I mean, most times you don't even tend to know if you are not keeping to that goal. Therefore, change that setting by teaming up with someone. Let me cite an example for you. If one of your goals is to cut down on your weight by exercising, you need a great discipline to accomplish that. Exercise, to say I want to do exercise every day, it demands great discipline. Find a friend with whom you will be exercising every morning. When you are weak and tired and almost giving up, the other friend is there to ginger you up. If you are determined to become more spiritual in 2021 or attend church regularly in 2021, find a friend with whom you will be attending the Bible class or Sunday school together. So that anytime you are tired, maybe you find a reason why I don't want to go to that church again, that next person will tell you, no, no, don't worry, let us go, let us go. It's always good to accomplish things together when you are, when you are not alone. Don't forget, five things, these five things will assist you in achieving your goals in 2021. Now, I want to show you the five P's of resolution. After you have made your goals, there's what we call the five P's. This is written by my friend Oseayo, uh, wrote me a, uh, a missionary in Mali. He said, in 2021, try to be passionate about whatever you want to do. Be the first person to admire your objective. Fall in love with your goals. Be highly affectionate with your vision. Get attached to your dreams and hold on to your faith. Don't forget, in 2021, when you say, I want to achieve this thing, I want to get this thing done, a lot of people might not encourage you. You will find reasons for dropping by the wayside. Be your own cheerleader. Be your own admirer. Admire your goals. Be convinced in yourself that I want to achieve this goal. Once you are convinced, don't let anything make you dispassionate about them. Be passionate about your goal. The second piece, patience. Be patient. In 2021, you must ultimately develop the attitude to face your troubles, adversaries, problems, difficulties, failures, changes and challenges with suiting patience. Oseayo is the view that it is only patience that paves way for greatness. It is only patience that paves way for greatness and glory. For whatever we want to achieve, let us be patient with ourselves. There are times when things will go awry. There are times when you will just wonder, Oh, I'm not enjoying myself with this goal any longer. No. Be very patient with yourself. Take things step by step. Problems will come. Challenges will come. But take things step by step in 2021. The third P, 
is positive. Be positive. Not until you start to see the positive side of things. Life will always look lifeless and lacking. In 2021, you must have the best physical, mental, intellectual, and spiritual feelings of yourself. Negative people are always at the back. They remain victims and not victors. Don't forget, it is only positivity that will open your eyes to hidden opportunities and chances. Be positive in everything you lay your hands upon. Be sure that this thing I want to do will work out well. Don't let anybody talk you out and be careful the people you discuss with. Because a lot of people will come out and start telling you, uh, do you think, are you sure? You know, a lot of people don't really engage in encouraging people. I remember when I, uh, in about uh, four or five years ago, when I determined to say, when I determined to learn how to blow the saxophone, I met a lot of people who discouraged me. I'm going to share this story someday. They told me that, oh, but at what age? You want to learn how to blow saxophone? Saxophone is being blown by children. Someone told me that when you start blowing saxophone, you will have goiter. Someone said it makes the, the scrotum of man to be very, to swell up. I was very shocked when I started hearing this kind of discouragement from people. But honestly, I was determined to blow the saxophone. And I went on. My brother, do I have any gutter? Is my neck swelling so enough today? I don't have anything under me here. I am doing well. I can blow the saxophone very well. If I had listened to those people who were telling me all these sort of negative things, I wouldn't know how to blow the saxophone today. Please, be very careful about people you discuss your goals with. They will discourage you. The fourth P is be practical. In 2021, go beyond mere imagination. Cross over assumption and presumption. Act concretely. Analyze tactically and move at the right time. Determine within yourself that I want to do it. When they say this thing is impossible, say, look, I want to try it first and let me find out if it is impossible. Don't let anybody talk you out of your glory. The people there will not encourage you. Encourage yourself, my brother. In 2021, encourage yourself. The last P of the five P's is be productive, productive, be creative, think deeply, exploit horizons, read good books, take risk, be a great listener and audacious learner, be a great listener and audacious learner. My friend, make friends with the right people and don't hesitate to Compare notes with people. Be positive. In everything you want to do, be productive. In anything you want to do, be practical. Be proactive. Don't be afraid to start things. Don't be afraid to take risk. Don't be afraid to listen to other opinion. I believe you have gained something today. And I thank God that you are there. On Friday tomorrow, I still have some things to tell you about goal setting. 20 things about goals. I will tell you tomorrow. I welcome you to mentoring with Bola Adewara. Thank you so much. The Lord be with you. Bye.